Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, do you like card tricks? Do you? Do you like card tricks? Because I do. I like card tricks. I like magic tricks. Well, I, I like magic. I like magic in general, right? I, li I like magic because I'm a, I'm a magician. <laughs> I'm a magician. I'm also a teacher and I'm also a content creator. And so I take all of those hats and bring them together for this channel so that I can use this uh, platform to elevate magicians, to elevate deck designers, to bring information to you so that you know what your hard earned cash gets you. Today, we're going to look at another packet trick from Paul Gordon. Paul Gordon was kind enough, nice enough, gracious enough, generous enough to allow me to have a few packet tricks and his latest book, which I'll be reviewing as well on this channel. Uh, today, we're looking at holy shnikes. <laughs> holy shucks. Holy shamoli. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So what it is, is a standard four of a kind, right? You're gonna follow one card, right? Through the whole, through the whole process. You, your cards may vary, right? And wherever the spectator looks, no matter how easy you think you're making it for the spectator, they can never find that one card. Even if you lay it on the table, it's not there anymore, right? So it's kind of a Monty style trick. It's kind of a everywhere and nowhere style trick. Sometimes the cards are face up. Sometimes they're, like I said, on the table. And then what happens is, at the end, there's, there's another, another kicker. There's a, there's, a, there's a kicker, and then there's another kicker. You say, I don't know, I don't know why this was so difficult for you to follow, because out of all, all the cards, this is the only card with a red back. And it's legit, right? Legit. To, that card had a red back, and it had a massive hole in the middle. What? Yes, it had a massive hole in the center. That's why it's called Holy Smokes. Actually, this trick was called Holy Cow back in 1989. So back in 1989, this trick was originally released as Holy Cow. That trick didn't end clean. This trick ends completely clean. You can push all the cards forward. They can examine them. Their mouths will be agape in wonder as to how you were able to pull that off. But that is, that is the truth. So let's say you pay 24 bucks, right? I believe. I believe it's 24 bucks. You go to paulgordon.net. Uh, his prices are listed in British pounds, but I believe the exchange rate would be $24. Uh, you're going to get uh, the cards, right? You're going to get all four cards and you're going to get the tutorial and the tutorial is roughly five minutes long. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought. Uh, when they say that everything is examinable, that means you're not using gaffes. And that means typically if the cards aren't doing the work, then you are doing the work, right? <laughs> so that means it is all slight of hand and it's going to work like a standard follow the ace or twisting the ace everywhere and nowhere Monty style trick. That means you're going to come to the table with an intermediate skill level in card magic. Are the cards well made? They are. United States playing card company cards, right? And like I said, no gaffes, no gimmicks, no trickery, no, no trap doors, no, no mirrors. As far as the video goes, like I said, it is five minutes. So it is very brief. There's no intro. There's no outro. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's bare bones. Paul's just going to walk you through the trick and show you exactly how it goes. It's all done as one shot, overhead shot, looking down at his hands. You have a, a card mat and he is well might. Pocket space, uh, like I said, it's a packet trick, right? It's a packet trick, so it's gonna fit inside one of those little 99 cent vinyl wallets that you get from Penguin Magic, right? It's a perfect packet trick because it's small and it's gonna pack flat and of course, it's gonna punch big, punch big, play big. Play big. How are the angles on this? Uh, same as other tricks like this, where you're you're hiding a card through the entire process, right? Of course, you could flash if your skill level wasn't up to par. There's always that possibility, or if you forget where you are in the routine. So that means practice, right? You got to practice. You got to practice your tricks. Um, but inspectability at the end, of course, like I said, 100%. Slights and difficulty level. Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, you're going to need to know how to do a particular count, okay? A particular count. And I believe there's a there's a double or two thrown in there as well. Some push-offs and things like that. But like I said, intermediate, right? Intermediate skill level. Positives. All right, so what are the positives? It's a fun trick, right? It's a fun trick. And it's another pack of trick. It's another pack of trick. Pack of tricks are fun. 
those of us who like carrying these little card tricks around with us, it's enjoyable. And the fact that it kind of feels gimmicky, right? Because you have that alternate color, you have the hole in the back, it kind of feels like it's a gimmick to style trick, but it's not. You push all the cards forward, there's no double ends, right? No double facers, it's, it is what it is, no sticky, you know? So it's, it's the perfect trick because all, all, the, all the slides are on you and everything's examinable at the end. And yeah, it, like, and like I said, it, it kicks and then it kicks again, so that's fun. Negatives, let's talk about the negatives. Uh, it's not for beginners, right? It's not for beginners. He doesn't, he doesn't go through slowly through his explanation. I mean, five minutes is not a lot of time, right? Five minutes is not a lot of time. So that means he's not gonna teach you any slights. He's not teaching you the slights. He's showing you the slights. He's giving you the name, right? The name of the slight, so that if you didn't know how to do said slight, you could go to one of your magic books and look it up. But uh, Paul Gordon is not gonna hold your hand uh, through teaching you slights. So how do you learn sleight of hand? Books. <laughs> books, kids. Uh, you need some books in your card magic library. I got three from Dover Publications and I wanna show them to you briefly. Uh, the first one is Card Manipulations from Gene Huggard. Okay, Card Manipulations one through five. So there's five volumes inside this and there's just a ton, right? A ton of card slides. The second book you could get is Card Control from Arthur Buckley. It's about the same size as uh, card manipulations, but just a different author. It's just a different book, right? So I wouldn't get both, because you're gonna have some overlap, but I mean, get, get the book that fits your, your wallet the best, but I always recommend this one right here, Expert Card Technique. Uh, this is Gene Huggard and Frederick Bowie. I mean, look at that, it's huge. This is a huge book. This is the Card Manipulation Card Slights Bible. So any, any sleight of hand that would be required for any standard packet trick, standard magic trick you could find inside this book. Is it worth your money? Like I said, it's about $24, 24 bucks, and you're getting just a packet trick, right? A handful of cards, like I said, no gimmicks, no gimmicks, and a five minute explanation. Of course, Paul would love to show you the trick, right? All you need to do is go to paulgordon.net. You just look the trick up by name using the search field. When well, it takes you to the product page, there's some pictures, there's a description, there's quotes, and there is a YouTube trailer. And so please watch the trailer and then you'll be able to tell if this trick is right for you. Big huge thanks to Paul Gordon for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you and I will see you guys next time, bye. Hey, how would you like access to even more magic reviews? You can, you can get access to two extra bonus videos every single week. Did you know that? Hey, I make videos Monday through Friday for free and I do that for you guys, and I never ask for a dime. You guys don't need to pay me any money. Magic and YouTube is not how I make a living. But if you would like access to two extra videos, you can join this channel for the low, low price of $1.99 a month. That's right, you'll get eight, eight extra videos every single month. Now, what are these videos? Well, these videos are tricks that I purchase with my own money because I'm interested in them. These are the tricks that I see, that I want, that I think are gonna be cool, and so I take time out and review those for you in the membership section. Eight videos, two a week, for only a buck 99. All right, so how do you join? Well, down below, right next to where it says Magic Orthodoxy, there should be a button that says Join. If you don't see that button, there's also a hyperlink in the description of this video. Once you click that, it'll take you to another YouTube page where you'll be able to put in all your information and join with your dollar and 99 cents. Of course, you can join for uh, month to month or you can join for the entire year. It's up to you. And of course, you're free to cancel at any time. And again, you don't have to do this. This is not me asking for money. This is just another thing that I make available to you should you wish. Of course, you just coming here and supporting me on social media, uh, any one of my other social media channels by subscribing, by following, that is support enough. That is all the support I need from you guys. And believe me, when I see you guys reach out, when I see you guys comment, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for believing in me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.